Hello and welcome. I'm the Scraptastic Crocheter and my name is Amanda. Today I have a little haul that I wanted to share with you guys and it's a yarn haul. I have um, seen this store, uh, yarn in my local grocery store for quite some time. Uh, not these particular colors. So this is new colors to me. I have not worked with this yarn before and uh, I bought the yarn as all the other hauls on my channel. I've um, bought all the yarn myself unless I specified that it was a birthday gift from a loved one. Uh, otherwise I always buy my yarn. I'm not sponsored or affiliated or anything like that. But I found this at my uh, local grocery store and uh, these new colors sparked my interest. So I figured I'd pick some up and uh, it was actually a little discount. I had buy three pay for two or something like that so I did pick up uh, one more of these so I have two of this in the middle uh, and then I have one of each of the other ones and I think that these will work really good together uh, no matter how I combine them actually so I think I can make one big project with all of these and it will be really fun to work with them. You can see like the colors are playing pretty good together and um, I'm gonna just uh, pick one. I'll, I'll leave these for you to look at and I'll read from this one. So we have, it's by Yarbo. It's a junior acrylic mix yarn. It's 50 grams, 168 meters. It's really really soft when they call junior um, I'm not sure if it's intended for like baby clothing but I would definitely do baby clothing in this like a cardigan or something like that um, I know a lot of people are hesitant to do stuff for kids in acrylic because of well it can pill and the plastic is not good for the environment and um, yeah but a lot of um, reasons I think that is, is that it's not good to put it in your mouth, maybe. Uh, if you have something made out of cotton, you can probably, like, if you have a kid that likes to put stuff in their mouth and um, chew on it, um, maybe that's more safe, but you can def definitely use this for kids. Uh, just keep an eye on it so that they don't put it in their mouths if you're worried about that. We have 70% premium acrylic, 30% polyamide. It's made in Turkey. They recommend a three and a half millimeter uh, crochet hook and knitting needle. Uh, wash cold, no tumble, dry, lay flat to dry. They recommend no fabric softener. It's soft as it is. I don't see why you would need that. It's uh, uh, Ecotex standard 100 tested for harmful substances which is really good if you're gonna use it for something that um, well for a kid uh, so that they don't have a lot of harmful stuff on their skin so that's really nice uh, and Yarbo is a Swedish brand so it was made in Turkey but um, designed or something in, in Sweden and uh, yeah it's really soft, really, really soft. So the colors in this one, we have, uh, I'd say mostly, let's see, I'm just gonna put it down. It looks to me that the white is uh, the main color and the white has bits of pink and a little bit of yellow specks. Here you can see the yellow a little bit more. So there's yellows and pinks in the white and then there's the more uh, popping longer uh, shifts of green this it's a purple but it's more of a bluish purple and then we have white with a more popping purple I'd say um, so yeah I wouldn't say that this is a blue comparing it to to this blue um, this is a I would say it's more navy, uh, but it's not like that, um, what do you say? It's not that, uh, oh, ah, words, sometimes they just 
they're not there it's just a light version it's not high um like saturation so it's not a dark navy it's just a light uh, blue color really nice colors in this one and the other colors um, looking at this it's the same here with the white but on this white we have the yellow small specks but instead of pink that we have here we have the green that's popping in and out and also a little bit of orange I can see here and uh, or a yellowy orange I would say and then we have a darker reddish orange pink and white and purple and this purple is very similar to the purple that is on on the strands here uh, and also uh, this one uh, I should probably say that this is color number 67032 and here we have 67031 um, I know you can buy these at uh, the Yarbo website I don't know if they ship internationally um, I know that uh, Hobby sells Yarbo uh, garn I don't know if I've seen this i'm actually just gonna do a quick search on their website i have them up here pretty easily available i just don't know no i don't see these on the hobby website so um yeah i'm not sure where you could find them then i have three i don't know how to it reminds me of like a stone washed or you know um, it's washed so that some of it is fallen out or like denim type coloration it like fades uh, really pretty a purple and a blue and a pink we have color 67038 67037 and 67036 so these are all friends I guess and uh, yeah they're all very it's only like the last two digits that's different so 38 37 36 32 and 31 which is kind of um, interesting means that they have some colors in between <laughs> that I didn't pick up and I know that there is a couple of just pretty basic colors there's a soft mint green there's the other colors are just solid colors these are effectful i guess with the uh, different different uh, colors or the yeah you know the fading it's gonna be really nice to see how this works out i don't know what to make with them yet i just figured i'd pick them up because there was a good price and um, the colors just said make something fun for uh, my youngest um, little monster so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do it's gonna be I I'm definitely gonna show you what I make that's for sure so that's all I wanted to show you now these pretty pretty yarns and um, if you like what you see on my channel I have other yarn hauls I do have um, quite a lot of videos now um, it's starting to make a couple of really nice playlists with uh, different types of things so um, mainly crochet related of course but yarn can also be interesting if you're a knitter or uh, work with other types of um, well, fab yarn to make other types of fabric uh, weaving or such but this is what you can find in a local Swedish grocery store. And uh, yeah, I will hopefully see you back here very soon again. I have more videos coming in the very near future. Uh, I've actually made a few that I haven't uploaded yet, so I need to work on that. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have a rest, 
a great rest of your day and bye bye for now